In this video we'll be talking about topics of an adult nature, it is not suitable for minors. This Ramadan I'm raising money for the orphans and the poor in Gambia. I'm doing it with my trusted spot charity started by a friend. It's grassroots and allows donors to go and visit. Link in the description. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Yes, it's another Sidemen KSI video. Why? Why am I doing another one? Why? With the youngsters that I've interacted with, they watch a lot of Sidemen and KSI and Beta Squad or FaZe Clan or whatever it is. So knowing what they're watching will be a good indicator of how they're being influenced. And I think it's a good litmus test for where society is at the moment as well. So. Let's see what the Sidemen and KSI said about marriage. Take before marriage, right or it wrong? It has to be right. Right, do your thing. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I think it's wrong. So, Why is it wrong? So let's just say like, you've got this woman, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Why is sex so important? I think it's important for like the rest of your life. Why sex can't we in, wait till marriage? But then, then why are you putting a time on it in terms of like, okay, we have to have a label before we have sex? Well, like, because I wanna say, know that it's real. But why does marriage mean it's real? Being married shows that you're devoted to No, me. as you guys saw, all of them are saying sex before marriage is fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. KSI on the other hand, playing devil's advocate. Well, who knows, maybe that is his belief and he doesn't want to admit it, who knows. But regardless, he said sex before marriage, that it's wrong. And he says because the reason why marriage is very important for a person to be intimate is because marriage and getting married proves that number one, it's real, that it's real. And number two, it shows your devotion. Now, what does the Quran say about this? Because the synonym for devotion is commitment, yeah? And Allah says in the Quran, He tells us to value our commitments. Oh yes. And then a hadith, yeah? Furthermore, we're told that one of the most important commitments is the marriage contract. So we are being told divinely to value marriage, the importance of marriage. Studies show that people that are married are less likely to engage in crime. Yeah, so this is another advantage of being married. Yeah, it's actually good for society. Governments should actually be promoting this. Yeah, movies and stuff like this should be promoting it. But we know, obviously, governments don't necessarily have control and <laughs> powers of the societies. Corporations call the shots mostly by lobbying them. So for corporations, it makes sense. Yeah, put marriage down and bring, bring up promiscuity. Why? Because it leaves a person to being more vulnerable, it leaves a person to being more unstable and more weak. And let's face it, preoccupied with the opposite gender continuously. So the Quran says they are a garment for you and you are a garment for them. Now let's analyze the analogy of a garment. A garment is something that's close to you, it's something that keeps you warm, it's something that protects you, subhanallah. So this is how marriage is being described. And also we're told in a hadith as well, that if a person protects what's between their jaws and what's between their legs, subhanallah, Jannah awaits such people. Yeah, why? Because these two things are a big test and a trial. And you're seeing most of the issues that we're getting today are because people cannot control their mouth. Yeah, social media, it's got no kind of uh, filter. Anybody can go in there and say whatever they want. And of course, what's between the legs, we're seeing that's become a big issue as well. But guys, let's also look at the flip side as well. And what's the flip side? I want to have a girlfriend. Yeah, I want to have a girlfriend. I want to get to know her. And yeah, like the sidemen said. What if, right? So say you find someone that you really like, <laughs> you wait till marriage, you have sex, and dead. it's dead. Let's take an analogy. The unqualified driver, they get into a car and they drive. Yeah, as they drive, naturally, they don't know how to drive. So they're going to crash the car. They're going to injure themselves and they're gonna injure the passenger as well. So we take this analogy and we put it to a relationship because if you get into a relationship, yeah, and you're not ready, you don't understand yourself, you're not mature yet, you haven't grown up yet. And because you haven't grown up, what you're now doing is you're riding a car and you're gonna crash it because you don't understand how it works. So here in relationships, guys, you're dealing with somebody else. You're dealing with their mentality. You're dealing with your own mentality as well. And the thing is, if you don't understand, yeah, you, you're going to crash and you're going to hurt them and you're going to hurt yourselves. So a child, he goes to a university lecture. Naturally, he's not going to understand 98% of the things that are going to be said. But the 2% that he picks up, what's going to happen with that? 
is he's going to take that and he's going to apply it in the wrong way. And this is exactly what we're seeing in society today. We're like children. Yeah, we're like children when it comes to relationships. We take the 2%, yeah, or we take a very minimal percent. I wouldn't say it's just 2%, which is a sex bit. And then we say, oh, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just roll with that. That's relation. And that's why sex has become so mechanized. Yeah, certain industries, I don't want to mention the names, but you know the industry that I'm referring to, has just turn, turned it into an animalistic act. That's what it's done. It's turned it into an animalistic act. That spirituality, yeah, because in Islam, we make a dua before of course we have relations with the wife and it's such a beautiful spiritual it's a merging of like to two bodies and two souls and spirits but subhanallah it's been demeaned yeah you do it when you're young it puts you off and subhanallah all right guys so this is what i alluded to as well and this is heartbreak yeah when you're young like i said you don't understand yourself you're not understanding of yourself how are you going to understand the other person naturally you're going to break their heart and if you look at relationships, what do they call it? Dump. I got dumped. People get dumped via text message. Subhanallah. Why? Because families aren't involved. The community isn't, isn't involved. There's no even spirituality attached to it. There's no barakah attached to it. So because of that, naturally, you're going to get heartbreak. But when you go to a therapist, when you go to a psychologist, you have to speak to them and it ends up being trauma from getting your heart broken. Yeah, it's one of the things that are very difficult to deal with. Yeah, heartbreak death of a loved one yeah these are excruciatingly painful and this is what islam protects you from yeah look islam is not saying stay celibate don't get married islam doesn't allow that yeah it's a sunnah to get married and we encourage the prophet sallallahu in fact had many wives sometimes when people say stuff yeah, so what he was a man <laughs> he, yeah, he was a man and rather than you know there's a super drug study that said that in the uk people like having at least 15 sexual partners but in Islam you can marry up to four but ironically speaking Muslims tend not to but that choice is there rather than having boyfriends and girlfriends and breaking their hearts and stuff like that yeah so marriage guys is something that we should look forward to it's something that is beautiful and amazing and look I'm speaking to you as somebody that has had his heart broken I am somebody that was in a marriage and it didn't work out and I'm still telling you that was a, a beautiful part of my life yeah and even though we're not together of course you know you you still have that you know appreciation that this person you know you, you spent intimate moments together I would say don't engage in these haram relationships then you will wait and the, the juice and the nectar will be much more sweeter and guys even when you're looking for your potential partner I will say look getting your parents involved and this whole arranging of the marriage. Yeah, there's a peer reviewed uh, article that actually suggests that 70 to 80% of people that have arranged marriages, love comes afterwards. Yeah, so this is proven. <laughs> yeah, so this is proven. And you're, you're actually a bit more cognizant of the person you're getting involved with. It's not just lust. It's not just desire and then you realize that person can't support you. You realize that there's other, you know, issues because you didn't get your parents involved. Yeah, you tried to drive a car when you were inexperienced. That's what, that's what it was at the end of the day. Yeah, and now you're paying the price. Yeah, sometimes if you get into an accident, when you're in an accident, it can lead to prolonged pain like paralysis and who knows what else. And guys, remember haram relationships don't have one ingredient that marriages do and that is barakah, blessing. Yeah, it is something that even looking at your partner gets you a reward. Yeah, even consummating the marriage gets you reward yeah spending time and spending money on your family is rewardable it's ibadah it's worship but if you're in a haram relationship subhanallah you're filled with guilt it's going to spoil your future relationships and it leaves you vulnerable let's face it and the powers that be they want to leave you vulnerable they want to keep you busy they want to keep you occupied with, with this sort of stuff just so they're free to do whatever the hell they want frankly yeah so what's the solution guys number one work on yourself the early years when you're young work on yourself i know the youngsters want to get married very quickly and that's fine you know get married very quickly but also if that's something that you want to do work on yourself yeah conflict resolution yeah read books on psychology read books on marriage understand yourself psychoanalyze psychoanalyze yourself and then you'll be in a better position to understand 
the, yourself and the other partner as well. And guys, don't free mix with people because when you free mix with people, then you're sending them wrong signals and wrong messages and then there's more potential for haram relationships to emerge. So guys, inshallah, you benefited from that. And uh, yeah, may Allah keep us safe. May Allah keep our youth safe as well. Let's leave it there. <laughs> Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.